how to build a cube with the affordable tensegrity toolkit. For a cube, we need 12 sticks. A cube, as we all know, has six sides, 12 edges, and eight corners. On each of these corners will be three edges connecting, and that's the way that we start. We build one of the edges of the cube. The connections are always in the same way, so that the knot points towards the short end of the connection. Now we continue with the second corner that will be on the same side of the cube. So we start off the model by building all four corners that belong to one side of the cube. It is corner number two. The rule to follow is to place the knot at the end of the stick always to the short end and to have one stick coming from the left and one from the right in the connections. Now while we are completing the third corner, we can see that one stick always gets around and this will already be our fourth corner and again one from the left one from the right which makes it fairly easy to know in which way to connect the sticks once they get close to each other that's already half the cube now we know we have four open ends and these will Be connected like this. We follow the same rule as before. We have one stick coming from the left, one stick coming from the right, and the knots at the end of the stick point towards the short end. And as you can see, it's already getting much more three dimensional, and we have to bend down some of the sticks. But if we follow the simple rule of knowing how many sticks we have in a corner and that we always have one stick from the left, one stick from the right, it is fairly difficult to get lost. Now all I'm doing here is what I did all the time. I connect the sticks in a way that the knot points towards the corner and that you always have one stick from the left, one stick from the right, which applies throughout the model. And all of a sudden there is your tensegrity cube, which can collapse and bounce back.